Hey guys, it's John P with GBTV. We're still at CES doing more coverage, and I get to do Samsung. Let's do this. Powered by the 2013 C-Max, the official car of CES. Okay, I know Callie's going to be jealous because I'm hanging out with our buddy Ethan from Samsung. We're going to talk about all the good gadgets. You know, we, we have so much Samsung stuff around our office, we can't get enough of it. Yeah, well, uh, I'll see if I can make your life even more difficult in that case. <laughs> okay, so we got a whole bunch of stuff we're going to try and cover. I see a little SSD in your hands. Let's start with that. So what do we got going on with the SSDs nowadays? Yeah, so uh, what I've got here is our 840 SSD. It's uh, 250 gigs, 250 bucks, but take out your hard drive, put this thing in here, computer's gonna boot up in 10 seconds, make your life better. What kind of throughput uh, do these things have and price points and stuff like that? And these, it's six megabits per second, okay, good. so it's super, super fast, yeah. read and write speeds through the roof. And uh, like I said, this is the 250 gigabyte version, it's about $250, so we're about a dollar a gig for this. So it's pretty affordable, especially if you do like a dual boot. You know, you can have your big terabyte hard drive, boot to this, yep. and then you're going to have a uh, best of both worlds. Now, if I have just a laptop and I want to get as much storage as possible, but price isn't much of an option uh, or an issue, is there a bigger version? Can I get like a 500 meg or go, anything? We, we go all the way up to 500. Okay. We'll go uh, 500, uh, 500 gigs. Yeah, Five hundred yeah, gigs. All the yeah. way up to 500, yeah. Wait, that's more than megs. That's more than megs, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, cool. So we got the new SSDs coming out. Yeah. What else? What should we talk about next? Okay. The cameras. We love cameras. We have cameras. And uh, Samsung, actually, we're really making uh, a big investment into cameras. Um, and we've got a whole line of smart cameras. So our cameras are smart because they're on the internet. Define smart for me. Yeah, well, it means that they're internet enabled, and that means it's Wi Fi in there. Okay. Um, and then you could do your Facebook right from the camera, back up to your PC right from the camera, connect it to your phone and tablet, use it as a remote control right from the camera, Picasso right from the camera. All that. And, and of course, if we want to go really, really smart, you guys have the new Samsung Galaxy camera, which is Android powered, and we brought one with us to the show. We've been we've been uploading some pictures and videos for you guys as well on that. So, yeah. but what do you have in your hands? By the way, this has got a cool, funky le leather-like texture. Right. It's reminiscent of a kind of an older 35 millimeter type camera. It's a retro thing. It's exactly yeah. what we were going for. This is our NX 300. Okay. Now we've been doing NX cameras. It's our third generation NX camera. NX is our mirrorless camera. Right. So it's, it's quality as good as a DSLR, but it's much more compact and more affordable. So we did go with a retro look for this one, but it, but also it's a smart camera. So you have that super high quality and the uh, Wi-Fi. And uh, we've got oh, this nice. thing here, right? I love it when you have swivel screens because right. if you want to hold it up high, you can, you know, or low, you can, you don't have to get all weird with your neck. Right, exactly. You can do the multiple angles. Yeah. And this one has a touch screen. Oh, nice. Which we've done for the first time on the NX. And a touchscreen is good for a Wi-Fi camera. You know, you get to put captions on your Facebook, log on to a Wi-Fi hotspot, or type your email addresses. You want that touchscreen, capacitive touchscreen to type on it. Yeah, that's so much better than the stupid little uh, up and down arrows and whatnot. Yeah, and then one more thing, we got a 2D, 3D lens right there. Wait, wait, what do you mean yeah, 2D? Exactly. What do you mean 2D, 3D? Right, you're like, what? So this is, this is as you know, we're all about 3D because uh -huh. we make the 3D TVs, so we wanted to give people a way to create their own 3D content. So we've got to, it could do it to normal 2D lens, but you flip a switch, you go into 3D mode. It's still using one lens, but there's a filter in there that basically splits it. Wait, yeah. when I look, I don't know if we can get this to, that the camera can see this, but when you look down in there, yeah, there's a little line, there's like a little bar. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. He, Dave's gonna get real close up on there for you. It's, it, you can kind of see that it's split into two different, I don't know, almost like two different glass panes or something. Yeah, so it takes the refracts the light and you get, and it refracts the light and you get basically two views of it and then you get the 3D image and then you just connect it to your TV with HDMI and you can play back your wedding or your kid's bar mitzvah or whatever like you're going right back there. That's awesome. What uh, what kind of sensor, uh, you know, like uh, what size sensor do these things have uh, in them? We're rocking a 21 megapixel you know, CMOS sensor so we've also improved the, the, uh, the focus and the low light performance. So it's really uh, got everything you could want in a camera. It's pretty fantastic. Excellent. Excellent. Do we have any other cameras that we need to check out while we're standing by the cameras here? Um, well, I mean, these are all smart cameras. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, 
Let's see. Let me show you about the WB30VF. Where's the one? Oh, there we go. Yeah, and this is this is my favorite. So this is the DV150F. It's got two screens. Oh, this has the front-facing screen, so I can like shine it up myself and take self-portrait. Right, right. It's 149, and this is the camera that you. I've got it in kids mode right now. We're showing a little video. So when you take a take a picture of kids, they're gonna smile. But nice. You can also make it see yourself. And what's the price point on this these little bad boys? 149. This is 149. This is also a smart camera. So this is our most affordable smart camera yet. So you're getting internet right here inside this little thing here. Excellent. All right, cool. Yeah. Okay, so we got hard drives, we got cameras. Let's take a quick break to thank Ford for bringing us out to CES, and we'll take a look at the rest of the Samsung gear. Hey, did you know that NPR's award-winning public radio app is one of the many apps that you can control with your voice via Ford Sync App Link. Connect a supported mobile phone to your Ford vehicle via Sync App Link, and before you know it, you're going to be able to stream local news, listen to your favorite programs like Morning Edition and All Things Considered, and navigate through custom playlists, all using simple voice commands. Sync App Link is yet another example of how Ford is going further to keep you connected on the go. Thanks so much to Ford for powering our CES coverage. Okay, Ethan, I see a whole line of Samsung computers and tablets here. What do we got going on? So yeah, so we've got a whole line of new PCs and, and they're all touchscreen PCs. So we got Windows 8 touchscreen, but what if you have a computer that you just bought it's a regular computer, but there's no touchscreen on it. If you want to rock Windows 8, we've got an add-on touchscreen monitor for your conventional desktop PC. Wait a minute. Okay, so, that is cool because Callie and I were just playing with the Ative yeah, tablet, yeah. and I don't see one right here, but we were playing with that and we got so hooked on the touchscreen Windows 8 that every time we pull out like our MacBook Pro or something, or a little MacBooks, you want to touch it, right? oh my God, it's so yeah. painful. But this Here's means, and you can take this, you can slide it. I'm not going to do it all the way because I'm going to knock stuff over. You can swivel this down to actually make it more comfortable. Yeah. So you can actually then touch it at a more comfortable angle. Okay, so I can plug this into any old computer? Regular monitor, yeah. Could I plug this into a laptop, a Windows sure. laptop sure. as well? Sure, sure. Anything that has HDMI or DVI, you can plug that right in. That is very sweet. Do, do, when are these going to be coming out? Do you know? Do you have any range of price for it or anything? Uh, no, I don't have any range. Okay. These are going to be coming out this year. Okay, that's awesome. And did, wait, what size do we say? 24 or roughly? It looks like it's about a 24 inch or something. Yeah, 24. Okay, cool, cool. Any of these other? These are good looking laptops here. Anything it's else? Seven, it's a Series 7. Uh, right there is a Series 7 Ultra, and then next to it is a Series 7 Kronos. Kronos. Yeah. What does Kronos mean? Well, basically, this basically this means it's a little more powerful. These are a little bit more uh, more uh, portable, compact, a little okay. more portable. All right, yeah, cool. but they're both touchscreen Windows 8 uh, laptops as well. Good. Okay, so now I see down here we are talking about some audio and video stuff. What is this that we're taking a look at right here? So um, last year we introduced uh, an audio dock with a vacuum tube. I think you remember that. Gorgeous, yeah. beautiful. I love the sound of it, yeah. and of course the vacuum tubes, you just can't, I mean, so, they're, they're awesome. Then you'll love this, because there's vacuum oh tubes God. again. There's a vacuum tube right in the front. Th these things glow, and they're so beautiful when they're so, glowing. So this is this is a, a home theater system, and that's a sound bar. Wait, a sound bar with vacuum tubes? Yes, that's what it is, a sound bar with vacuum tube. Okay, when so is that coming? This is all coming in the spring. Okay, that's awesome. Do we yeah. know anything about like power? I mean, is it going to be loud or what? Yeah, it's going to be loud. I'll have to check the number on how many okay. watts it is. Okay, but cool. uh, we make we make these to really be able to you know rock your world. Absolutely, and a yeah. big nice subwoofer. There, yeah. Now this TV looks a lot like your 8000 series, if I'm not right. Top this, of the line. This is the eight. Yeah, that's right. This 8000 series here on it. This is a lust worthy television, folks. You see how thin that thing is. What size? This looks like maybe a 55, 60 incher. It's a 55. This is the F8000. So it's the new 2013 8000 LED series. Okay. Um, and, uh, I noticed that the TV is watching me right here. Yeah. Right. So we got a camera. It's, it's actually turned off. So uh, you can turn that off anytime. But okay. we got we got a camera. We've actually improved the motion control on it. So now you can do two hands, big pinch to zoom and all that. 
much enhanced. Like, like a Microsoft Xbox control thing. I can wave at it and stuff like that, right? right. Without the, without the, the, uh, the external box built right. right into the TV. We've got improved voice recognition. So last year we had that, but it was just, we got Skype, you could take advantage of the camera. Yeah, that's and, great. And natural language. You can say, I want to see a Bruce Willis movie, or I want to watch Monday Night Football. It'll just go to the right channel or, or whatever you want to do. Oh, that is too cool. And now, I also, TV. yeah, I just spied, yeah. spied this little evolution kit. Tell us about that. So we actually announced this last year, but we're paying it off now. So last year in 2012, our TVs had a slot in the back. The whole thing is, what really, what really is frustrating is you're buying a new TV, it's obsolete mm -hmm. the minute you take it out of the yeah. box. So what we're doing is we're, we're going to let you upgrade your TV. So this is the upgrade. So all this new stuff on our 2013 TV, it's got a quad-core processor, the improved voice control, the new UI, all that new stuff. You plug this into your 2012 TV, and we're keep, done. It's a brain transplant. So you're turning it into a 2013 TV by plugging that in for a couple hundred bucks. That's huge, guys. And let me tell you, last year when I heard about this, I said, that's awesome. Yeah. I love hearing that. And I've heard that before because other people have promised upgradable products and not delivered. I'm very happy to see that you guys actually came out with that this year. And so we're going to do it again next year. So your 2012 TV can become 2013 and then become 2014. Very cool. Very oh, cool. All right, Ethan, thanks so much for all the wonderful Samsung updates. You guys keep it up. You guys stay tuned for more GeekBeat coverage. We are going to be here all week at CES. Head on over to youtube.com forward slash TV. Give it a thumbs up. Later, guys.